Hi, my name is Nick Carroll, and this is my $600 AMD Kavari PC build. It's been three years since I last upgraded to a brand new PC. Up to 2011, pretty much every year, I built a brand new computer for myself each and every year, and then as a, the next year uh, came along, I would then pass my system to my wife and then as time would progress she would pass her old system to one of our boys the oldest and then so on and so forth to other kids well 2011 was the last time that I, I built a PC for myself and that we had that sort of upgrade train you know the unique advantage to upgrading in this capacity is I would only buy or purchase or build one PC a year yet everyone would get an upgrade because of this but that stopped 2011 2012, none of us upgraded. My wife ended up buying a notebook for herself, uh, but that was pretty much it. And then last year in 2013, instead of buying a PC for myself, I built, or building a PC for myself, I built two PCs, one for my, each of my boys, and uh, that consisted of a significant upgrade for both of them as both of their PCs were starting to get a little bad. So they were upgrading. My wife actually upgraded to a new notebook last year and uh, I was still in my old system. So this year I decided, you know what, I'm gonna upgrade <laughs> myself this time. So I need an upgrade for me. So I decided I was gonna uh, build, similar to what I did for my boys last year, a system that is all AMD and built on an AMD APU. The whole reason I like using an APU is, as I've been doing this for almost 20 years, over time video cards have been one of the more common things to go out. And so I like, the, I like the idea of if a video card goes out and I have to go through the whole process of doing an RMA, I can basically remove that defective video card and then use the onboard graphics of the system that I'm using without having to buy another card you know, in the meantime or dig out an old card and use that. By using an APU, you've got up-to-date onboard graphics that can allow you to basically continue to operate and do everything you're doing. Um, gaming may not be as, as good, but in terms of everything else, you know, multimedia, video, uh, watching, listening to music, writing, reading, researching, browsing, all that stuff you can continue to do you, without skipping a beat. You just remove the video card and you're still going. So that's the methodology behind why I've done my most recent PC upgrades. So my boys have the Trinity APU uh, the and uh, I'm going with the Kavari APU. Now in this particular case, I'm building a system for myself without a discrete graphics card, which is actually a first for me. I can't think of the last time I built a PC without a video card, but I'm a little bit undecided as to which video card I'm going to get. So bottom line is I'm uh, building this system, I'm going to use the onboard graphics, slightly overclock the CPU or, or the APU and then run it that way for a little bit and then as I decide which video card to install I will then install that into my system. So let me give you a little bit of an idea of how things are going to go. So today is Monday and I'm basically giving you an introduction uh, to this uh, process, a little bit of background information and in a moment I'm going to give you a bit of a parts overview. Tomorrow I'm going to give you a more detailed parts description of all the parts and, exp and an explanation for each and every one of them. Wednesday, the following day, I'm going to actually do the PC build and show that on video. And then Thursday, the following day, I'm going to actually perform all the OS updates and give you an, uh, an impression of how everything is running. And then Friday, the final day of this uh, week-long <laughs> uh, marathon of uh, videos, I'll give you uh, some basic benchmarks and the overview of how it's been running uh, once everything's installed. So without further ado, I'm going to go over the, the parts, generally speaking. So this is going to be uh, an AMD build, an exclusively AMD build. I'm not going to do like, you know, AMD for the graphics, you know, and then like Intel for the, for the central processing unit or vice versa, I'm, I'm, or, you know, go for NVIDIA for the graphics, you know, and then AMD for the, for the CPU. So uh, this is going to be an AMD A10. 7850K a Kavari build. I'm not going to do any overclocking, however. Or I'm going to do modest overclocking, maybe 10 or 15 percent. 
So I may go up to 1866, although the default uh, clock speed is going to be 1600. I'm going to use a Gigabyte GA-G1 Sniper Series uh, motherboard. It's using the A88X uh, design. I'm going to use a dual channel kit of 16 gigs. Uh, it's going to be G-Skill Sniper Series RAM. I've used uh, G-Skill for my last several PC builds. My two boys and the three previous PCs that I built and then the PC before that one was also uh, using G-Skill RAM. So this is going to be a 2x8 gig kit and uh, this is all DDR3 1866 uh, uh, megahertz RAM. And then uh, I'm going to use one Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive. This runs at 7200 RPM, has 64 megs of cache and runs at SATA, uh, SATA 3 uh, 6 gigs per second. Um, I'm going to be using a Rosewell Redbone U3 black mid-tower case. Um, I'll also be using a 300 watt 80 plus bronze power supply. I'll be using uh, an tw uh, inexpensive $20 Samsung 24X DVD burner. And uh, as a part of this bundle, I'm actually using, a, uh, up until very recently, uh, there was a special bundle where if you bought a A10 Kavari uh, APU, you get a Battlefield 4 and uh, a dog tag um, bundled in into it. So that influenced my specific uh, choice of a bundle. And this all told, the price for everything, is $584. Now this uh, bundle sale just ended on Newegg a few days ago. So it's now in the $620, $630 range uh, for everything, if you were to buy everything, including buying the DVD burner or buying Battlefield 4 or buying the dog tag it's like 600 and change closer to 700 but uh, it's a reduced bundle price um, as opposed to this bundle price that I got anyway so it's an under $600 uh, build that I'm, that I'm uh, using for this so that's basically it uh, tune in tomorrow and I'll actually uh, show you all the parts and go into greater detail about each one before I assemble everything thank you very much for watching and have a great day.